Big day Saturday, Chris, at Rose Hill. The last one at Rose Hill before we go to Ranwick. Uh, you got the first race off, so you can have a sleep in. Don't get up till uh, 4.30. The Neville Sawwood, you got a few in here. What about one foot in heaven? Gee, that's, what about that for a name? It's not a good name. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, the next step, next door's going to be. Um, Both feet. I think he's running two arcs. Yeah. Well, at least one, but probably two. Uh, he's got good international form. You wouldn't see it in his track work or trials, so I'm just banking on him bringing his form to the races and 2,000 metres first up, set weights, penalties will suit. McIntosh? Good run last start, second up 2,000, this start is third up, that'll be much better on a better track. What about McQuarrie? We keep talking about him. Yeah, I think he's ready to go bang. Um, distance is perfect, I reckon, for where he's at in his career. Just needs a bit of luck from the draw. He's in the outside barrier. Leah Parr is in the second outside. Yeah, he hasn't had much luck with barrier draws. He's been in hitting the line well. The other three are much better suited at the weights. Leah Parr is more a handicapper. The Star Kingdom, new universal run there. Yeah, good run last start um, in a similar race. It was 1,100, this is 1,200. He's drawn barrier two compared to barrier one last start. He was another stride. He just about had the race one. I know you can't read races like that. Um, but. Some race, some read race is better than others. The Emancipation, are we going to see the best of Fox play? Um, I think so, it's the right distance. Back to Phillies and Mears grade. They didn't go quick enough. Last start, she was back, 1300. Second up, we were banking on a soft track and dried out to a good four. So I think she can get back to close to her best form and, and be in the finish. The Tullick, the three-year-olds, could they make a, a play for the Derby? I talk about Augustus, who was good winning here at Warwick Farm, and uh, I think by Frankel, uh, Tanner Mears. Yeah, Augustus, um, he's bred to, to run 2,000 metres. Um, good sense of timing about his preparation, third up over 2,000. He'll run well, he's got an all good gate. Tang Mears drawn well with Kieran aboard. Um, missed out getting a start in the Ram at Guineas last start. Forget he went around the Ram at Guineas, he got knocked over as they jumped. Um, still finished the race off well. Had he not they had that interference, I reckon he finishes midfield and you would have been saying, gee, this is the horse to bet on in the Tullock Stakes. So um, here he is Saturday. He'll run the 2,000 metres out strongly and I think he's a, a good, good each way chance. They come into their own this week, the Tancred. Uh, who shot the barman and, and Libra? Yeah, in particular Libra. Libra. His, run, his run last start was good, running second uh, over 2,000. He's a little bit sharper than the barman now that Barman's got on in years, so look, I think the Barman will run a good Sydney Cup trial, hoping to run into the money, whereas Libran might just be that bit sharp. But it's a pretty good race this year. What about Unforgotten? Great to see her back. And she tried on a Thursday, won on the Saturday. She's one of the fancies for the Group 1 binary. Yeah, she's um, beat a good field that day too and did it the right way. She got back, settled and finished off strongly. So slightly awkward draw. She'll just be ridden the same. I guess over 2,000 doesn't need to get as far back, but... Switch her off, settle and see how she runs off, runs on. 2,000 metres I'm sure is going to be a plus, but until you try them over, you're, you're a little unknown. For Doncaster Prelude, you've got a few. Montauk? Yeah, I think he's ready for sort of a little bit further already, so probably safely held, but it'd be nice to see him upset. The other two have got to be players, Mr Seawolf and Sullivan. Mr Seawolf, great run first up um, in, the, in the race at Newcastle, okay. it's a little bit further. Um, this is a good pressure race. He'll get back and storm home and hopefully get a berth in the Doncaster the following week. And Salomon, gee, he ran a bottler last start. He was a touch unlucky, got held up at a wrong stage and still ran through the line. So good chance. And Nordic Heroes there, he'll probably need a run or two, but um, one to follow later on. He's in the last. My Nordic Hero. Yeah, I thought you were on to the last already. With black and gold? Black on gold. Um, <laughs> Tastes good fresh. Did you think he was in the other Yeah, race? <laughs> he was originally, but we didn't accept in that nomination. Yeah, so, Black on Gold, like the 14. he's got um, big weight, but gee, he goes good fresh. Yeah. Nordic Hero, he'll go good, but I think a few starts to him. Up and rolling? Up and rolling, blinkers on. Mm. Another wide draw to contend with, but he's running good races. Yeah, just quickly, I've got a couple in Melbourne. Yes, you're about just to go. I've got oh, no. a couple in the parade ring. Where you, you got, you got, what do you got in Melbourne? I know you've got a couple I want to ask you. Oh, quick defence has gone down ask there with Nate. Quick, quick, quick. 